What is up guys, it's Tony here, and today we are playing Cube World for Indie Interlude. I'm sure many of you guys have heard of this game, you guys have probably seen it a lot. It's basically a uh, minecrafty s game, a voxel-based game, which basically is an RPG, sort of like Zelda in a way. Um, you just kind of explore around, and it's really fun, in my opinion, from what I've uh, experienced from it. And I thought I'd play a little bit of it uh, on some Indie Interlude. And it's way too loud, so I'm lowering it on my uh, speakers. But Anyway, uh, so these things are probably going to kill me, but we'll see what we can do. So yeah, I made this character the other day, and I went and played some multiplayer with my buddy um, my buddy Josh, who used to uh, chill and make videos with me back in the day, or help me make videos back in the day. And I really have nothing to heal with. This is terrible. There's something else. Oh my god, I'm going to die. See if we can kill. Yep, we killed that. So we got plus three XP. It's not bad. Anyway, so uh, when you respawn, you respawn at these things, and they're random. I'm gonna check the map real quick because my main goal right now for this video is to go to the town. So we gotta turn around and head northwest, I guess. So northwest. Uh, wait, no, northwest. Northeast. No, northeast. So anyway, um, so yeah, this game I, I played a little bit. I didn't really play that much, but from what I did play. In this game, it's it's pretty fun. Um, we tried getting multiplayer to work so we could do a little video on multiplayer, but uh, unfortunately, this game is really buggy on multiplayer, at least uh, on his internet server hosting. So um, we weren't really able to do that. But I thought I'd do a little bit of solo cube world and just show you guys what the game's about a little bit. Uh, I'm not a high level, so I'm not gonna be able to show you like any sort of dungeons or anything. But I want to go to a dungeon and just see what happens when I go there. So we're going to have a little bit of fun here. Uh, it'll be a little short video just messing around on the old cube world here. And I do plan on uh, playing this game maybe when it gets out of um, out of alpha. It's an alpha right now. It's an, it's an alpha demo that you can pretty much, I think you buy it for 20 bucks US dollar or 15 euros. And, you know, it's, it's not a bad deal considering I believe it's going to be like Minecraft where when the full version comes out, you pretty much just get the full version. No charge at all. And I'm sure the full version will be worth uh, a lot more than twenty dollars. So you'll be saving money in the long run. So yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty nice game. Like it looks cool. And to me, I, I've been having fun with it so far. Like I really don't have any major complaints about it. I think it's a really cool game. The only thing I'd say is the most annoying is starting out. The XP isn't really that fast, and and getting around is really difficult at an early level. And this is a nice little valley. I kind of wish you, I could. Ha I half wish you could build your own base. I don't even know if that's a thing. That might be a thing. I might just be. Whoops! I didn't want to do that. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out of here. And there's what the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? How do I get out of here? I don't think I can get out of here. And I'm right by the town. Are you serious? I don't even know what this is. Can I go? Oh, he just. Charged past me? What the fuck? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do here. I think I'm dead. I don't even think you can get out of here. This is some bullshit. Alright, just kill me. Go for it. <laughs> Alright, let's hope I'm not too far away from the town now. Oh, it's not too bad. So I just turn northeast again, I guess. Wait, northeast? Yeah, northeast. Alright, so yeah, um, the traveling around, as you can see, is a bit of a pain, especially when you die a lot. Um, but I'm sure that's something that, with levels, you know, gets easier. And uh, I believe you can get, like, pets that you could ride and things like that. Um, and the other thing that I don't really like too much is uh, is the, um, the limited combat system at early levels, because you're pretty much just getting owned by everything. Okay, so the town should be this way. Are we going the right way? Yeah, so just go a little east now. Now, hopefully we don't get stuck in this. I think I can get out. Yep, got out. All right, cool. So yeah, the towns, Um, I'm like confused about what you do in the towns, but here's one. This is the uh, Dorala, Lands of Dorala Pet District. And there's a bunch of like, you know, really nice pixelated crops. I mean, the game's beautiful in my opinion. The art style is just great. R to examine. There's nothing in... Okay. Um, so yeah, the art style is pretty cool. I like that about it. But otherwise, I really don't know what you're supposed to do. The inventory system, here it is. Um, 
What? Okay. So there's the inventory system. Oh, apparently I have a wand. Let's do the wand, yeah, sure. And then I have some heart flowers, which I believe you can use these to craft, like, different types of potions. Which I do need, so I'm going to try to figure this out real quick, what I got to do for potions. So, there's some houses here. There are NPCs. Here we are in the crafting district. Here's a human, a human, a human, a human, sure, a human. So here is an anvil, which we don't need. We need some sort of alchemist. What do you want? I have my own house. That's great for you. I just want to know how to do some alchemy. Is this another anvil? No, no, no. What is this? Workbench. Let's check out the workbench. Nope. Sit down. Whoa. Uh, okay. This must be like a sawmill. Yeah, sawmill. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the town basically. I mean, there's a little bit of a like a like a market district out here. Nothing special. You can't buy anything. Well, okay. Like I said, it's an alpha. So what we're gonna do now is I think we're gonna go for that like dungeony thing over here, and that's just straight west. So I want to try to see what that's all about. So we're gonna head out this way. Maybe on the way out. Oh, there's an inn. Ooh. Let's check out this. It's hard to see, jeez. I would love to have a slime pet. That reminds me of Pokemon, where you'd see, like, you know, I would love to have a, um, a Pikachu or something like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You were looking strange. <laughs> Why is there, like, music when she tells me I look strange? Well, that's fucking weird. And I think up here is the dummies. Yeah, there's some dummies. What is this? Trolls are really str Oh my god. <laughs> These guys are all useless. It's another thing. Like, like, I wish, like, the towns, you know, the townspeople were more helpful. Anyway. They make the game a lot more fun. If the townspeople kind of gave you, like, quests and things like that. But I'm sure they're, they're planning on implementing all that stuff in the future. Um, to make it a little bit more fun. A little bit more of a user-friendly experience. But anyway, we're going to go follow this path. Hopefully it'll bring us towards that dungeon. Is that it? Is it the tree? Is it the tree? I think it's the tree. Yeah, it's the tree. So maybe it's just a landmark. I don't know. I really want to explore it and see what's going on. Maybe there's some loot. It's pretty interesting. I mean, that's one thing I always wanted Minecraft to do is like to get more RPG-ish. Like I remember on, on, in like the early days of Minecraft, I was saying they should add potions and enchantment, which they did. But then I said they should also ask like like add like quests. Is this it? Gagar tree. Defeat the ruler at the Gagar tree. What is that? Is that the ruler? Let's try to kill the ruler. Ugh. This is very difficult. He's on the floor. He's down. He's down. Get him. Oh shit. He has a bow. I don't have anything to heal with. Heart flower. I'm not sure if that's how you make potions, use those heart flowers or what. This guy's not even taking any damage, from what I can tell. <laughs> Defeat. This must be him. This must be the ruler, whatever it's called. I wonder how long it'll take to kill him. I mean, these are the types of things you need someone else to help you with. Like, what the fuck's he doing? Look at this guy! It's the fucking chase right now. There it is. Oh. That was a good dodge. His health's going down. Oh, shit. Am I not regening health? What the fuck's going on? Ugh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Look at him. Oh man, this is great. Ugh. 
Oh, he's down again. Oh shit, I'm running low. I'm running very low. Oh shit. He's chasing me! He's chasing to stab me with his arrow. What the fuck? Man, this thing. I don't, I don't think we're gonna be able to kill this. For one, we're running low on health. For two, this fucking thing, like... Look how much health it has. Oh, shit. That was close. He's really bad at, like, hitting you. The accuracy's not that great on him. Oh, wait, wait, I'm at zero health. What the fuck? I was at zero health and I was still alive. Alright, well... <laughs> that's pretty much it for Cube World. I just want to do a small video of it, because really there's not much that I could do in this game yet. Maybe in the future I'll do more. Maybe if you guys can give me some tips if you've played it before. Uh, that'd be really cool. And I think you guys should check it out. It's only 20 bucks, and which isn't that bad. Um, like I said before, considering you get the uh, full version when it comes out for free. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I am Tony. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and comment, like, and then, uh, you know, also if you have any other indie games that you play that you would like to uh, request me playing, uh, go ahead and comment that below, and I'll see you guys next time.